welcome back everybody. It's been a long winter, but spring is around the corner, so it means another season of boat repair. Except it doesn't look like it right now outside. But regardless, let's get going here and start fixing some boats and have some fun this year. see what we have here today so as you can see this boat has come in uh, the guy was complaining about water coming in so there's the first uh, telltale sign but as you can see here what we're gonna do is we're gonna delaminate all this here and around here and we're gonna re-glue it all back in three. All right, let's get started now. Using our heat gun, we're gonna heat up the fabric here and start loosening up that old glue so we can start delaminating everything around the transom. Using my dull, my dull edge pry tool, I'm just get going underneath the fabric there so I can start to, to loosen and pull stuff up. Now that we've got everything lifted and delaminated right where we need to clean, let's pull out the MEK and start cleaning up the surfaces and start removing all this old glue. Let's start taping off the areas right where we're going to be gluing and doing our repairs. Using some clamps, I'm just going to hold the fabric back there so we don't get anything that's going to stick unnecessarily. And let's go back to start cleaning and uh, prepping these surfaces some more.
a good clean surface will prevent any failures down the road. Now that we've got the surfaces all cleaned up, let's start doing the glue application. Let's start applying the glue according to the manufacturer's directions. Make sure you wait according to the waiting time between each layer that you have to put down. Now since we've got the glue applied and we've waited the necessary time, let's start bonding the surfaces that we just glued. Keep in mind, pressure is key whenever using these PVC glues. Now let's start applying the glue to the back portion of the transom now. Same thing here, applying the glue according to the manufacturer's directions and waiting time between each layer. Now let's get this section bonded to the transom. As you can see, I've got the pressure worked all the way up to the creases right where the transom mounts are. And then I'm going to work my way onto the other side and do the same thing over there. And then after that, I'm going to start applying the, the pressure to the fabric over the mounts. So then this way we get uh, no leaking that can happen. As you can see, I'm working the fabric in there so I can prevent any chances of water ever entering the boat. Now let's start getting the final taping done so we can glue these final half moon patches in place. So we can start working back on the inside of the boat now. Alright, let's start bonding these half moon patches and get the back all finished up here so we can start working on the inside of the boat now.
As you can see, I'm working every little corner and crevice so I can make sure we've got a really good seal and there'll be no leaks. Now that we've got the back of the boat all finished up, let's start doing the inside of the boat. Same thing as we did to the back, we're going to clean everything up and get everything ready for the glue application. Now that we have the inside of the boat all finished up, let's get it all put back together so we can start installing the drain plugs and start sealing any other little holes that are in the boat. Getting the drain plug all cleaned up and ready for the uh, 3M4200. Once you've got it all the way around the drain plug there, let's slide it in and slightly turn it as we put it in the drain hole. 
just giving it a few taps in place and then I'm going to start using the silicone and start uh, sealing up those other little holes on the side. Now all she has to do is just cure, and she's ready for delivery. Well, I make it look easy now, don't I? Well, thank you all for watching. Make sure you hit that like button because it lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. And if you really enjoy the content, hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber and also we've uh, now uh, set up an account on patreon so hey, if you guys feel like donating I'll accept it but yeah I just want to thank all my customers and clients you know everyone that supports this channel that buys stuff through uh, our company here it's it's fantastic um, so to you guys I wouldn't be around so stay safe Happy boating, and thanks again, everyone. See you on the next video.